Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> hey Kitty, here is my cousin, Astronaut Binox. And here is my other cousin, Professor Binox. <sighs> And finally, here is Great Granny Binox. <laughs> I know what you are wondering about, Kitty. You're thinking, why does she have grey hair, isn't it? Hey friends, I'm sure just like little Kitty, you are wondering, why do your grandparents' hair look so grey, when in their younger days, it's dark and different? Well, in today's episode, let us enter the grey world of hair and answer a very fascinating question. Why do we get grey hair? Zoom in! As we get older, generally by the age of 50, our hair naturally begins to turn grey or silver in colour. Some people rock the salt and pepper look while others try to conceal the shades of grey by dyeing it with artificial colours. But the vital question is, why do our hair turn grey in the first place? To know that, first we need to understand what actually determines the colour of our hair. You see, your hair is divided into two parts. The upper part known as the shaft which is the coloured part we see growing out of our heads and the lower part called the root which keeps the hair attached under the scalp into a little sac called the follicle. And every hair follicle in your head contains cells called melanocytes that produce a very special chemical called melanin which gives your hair its colour of brown blonde, black, etc. The shade of someone's hair depends upon the amount of melanin each hair has. Meaning, the more the melanin, the darker the hair. But as we get older, the melanocytes begin to die and lose its ability to produce melanin. And the reduction of melanin over the period of time alters the color of hair from dark too grey and eventually, when there is no melanin left in your follicles, it starts to push out white hair. And that's how your hair loses its colour with age. But age is not only the factor responsible for it, as people can get grey hair at any age. Yes, some get it when they are young, some get it in school. Whereas some lucky fellas don't get it even when they are way beyond their thirties. How early or late you get to see a first strand of grey hair is determined by your genetic factors. This means that most of us will start having grey hair around the same age that our parents or grandparents first did. But. Is there anything you can do to stop your hair from turning grey? Well, the honest answer is, there is nothing one can do. But scientists believe that to prevent hair from growing grey, they would need to either prolong the life of the melanocytes in the hair follicles or increase the melanocyte stem cell reservoir in the upper region of the hair follicle so that they continue to replace lost pigment cells. Trivia time! Did you know hair follicles produce small amounts of hydrogen peroxide? 
Yes, it is a chemical that has been used for decades as an inexpensive way to lighten or bleach hair. Also, scientists say a low level of vitamin B12 can cause loss of hair pigment. Not only that, a study found that a low level of vitamin D3, serum calcium and serum ferritin in people can cause premature graying of hair. But remember my friends, whatever the color of your hair, it's always important to accept and embrace the way you are. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.